All right, it's time to return to Underhero. Just gotta wait for these screens to go away, and we're gonna enjoy this game. At least I am. At least I hope I am. Goodness, that'd be terrible if I, if I don't enjoy this game. Alright, just load, come on. You can do it. There we go. Here we are. Let's see. Need to do the stone. Need to get stronger. Right. You. Talk to me. I told Savage that going in reverse is a deep philosophy for life. In order to impress some girls, he can't stop going backwards now. And I can't stop laughing, haha. -ha. I know, I know, I'll tell him the truth, eventually. Going in reverse is not just a form moving, it's a new philosophy or something. So I started doing it to look smarter. We have a great selection of potions, upgrades, magic anvils, and more. Chicks dig smart. Low prices. Good products. No refunds. Oh, you, you, you sold me at no refunds. Sun burned, can't move, so much pain. There's no way I'm going back to that forsaken island. Sigh, my poor shell. This castle's alright, I miss the manor though. Our leader, the Baron's a bit eccentric. Still love him. This castle's alright, I miss the man. Oh. This way to World 1, the Moth Forest. Oh, come on, I was ten minutes late! Ugh, that's it. I've had it. I'm camping here. World 1. The Maw Forest. Yo, let's do this. Not one more step. There's town up ahead. Your kind is not welcomed in there. Apparently you don't want to go to the... Look, I appreciate your dauntless spirit, but I said I'm not letting you go. Besides, we have more pressing matters at the moment. Wow, they can erect a invisible barrier. That's pretty impressive. I didn't realize they had the capabilities to make invisible barriers, but okay. Hold up, kid. You see that weird artifact over there? Those are put there by ancient beings to aid the Chosen One and yours truly in our quest to defeat evil. The same beings that created me. These eerie statues can record our progress as soon as we press them. To avoid losing progress, I recommend using save stations if you plan on switching save files. Is that that Scarlet Boy? I mean, kid? Keep that in mind, kid. Up ahead, kid, our first enemy. Sweet experience points, baby. Since you look like a limp, I'm gonna have to teach you how to fight like a real hero. For better or for worse, we are a team now, so you better pay attention. If you're struggling with an enemy, you can talk to me about the Z key. Don't forget it, now approach that monster. Well, ain't this place pretty. No time for sightseeing, though, we got stuff to do. Nah. Bothering me so soon? Fine. We are in some kind of cave or something. Wait. I've been here before. I was here at the previous hero not too long ago. We are just starting out our adventure. Sai, let's go. Okay, it looks like they usually don't have a second line of dialogue for their Z move. Perish, mortal. Kind of give me uh, Mario RPG feels. 
lesson session kit. I'm talking about mainly the music. Music's really hitting me thought. Class and session kit. Don't worry, I'll keep it sweet and short. To begin with, he, he, down here you'll find your slick battle menu where you can do fun things like committing homicide. That's your sword attack, fast and reliable. Now when I say go, use your sword attack the ray achy. That's it. Notice how that green bar over there went down when you attack? That's your stamina meter. Attacking requires stamina points. Your sword just used three whole points. If you if your stamina goes below three, you won't be able to move until you get three charges. Keep that in mind. You can also hold back your attacks if you keep the button. Moving on, it's time for your enemy to attack, but fear not. Be careful in time and you can avoid their attacks. What just appeared is your jump button. Use it to evade medium height attacks. When the lizard attacks, use your jump key to evade spike dust key. Go! Nice! Whoa, did you see that kid? Your stamina is replenished and you evaded that attack. That's the most efficient way of recharging your stamina. Running low on juice? Just evade. Next, your crouch button. Use it to evade high attacks. This time, I want you to pay close attention to face your enemy before they attack. And don't forget to evade the attack by holding them down key. You can see your enemy pulled out their tongue right before attacking. This is called a hent. Pay close attention from now on to all different hunts that enemies show before attacking. And beware, they may have more than one attack too. Okay, lesson one's over. Time for a test. Commit homicide. Alright, I just killed a innocent monster. You found a potion. Is there fall damage? No. Info. Hold down and press the jump button simultaneously to drop down from platforms. Neato. To walk, just hold the shift key. Oh, I can purposely slow myself down. Neat. Not that I would ever want to slow myself down. Come on. Sai, so, you need a silver key for this lock gate, kid. It's gonna be around here somewhere. Time for more training, kid. This has occurred to me. You can totally talk to your enemies. You're all, all minions, after all. You can only talk before attacking your enemies. Learning new info is important, so make a habit of talking before attacking. So talk to the enemy by pressing the right arrow key. Lovely weather we're having, huh? A little bit chilly, though. Uh, good to know, I guess. Next up's your HP there. If that number reaches zero, it's game over, obviously. So, to avoid your early demise, you can use this. That's your potions button. You can use it to replenish a ton of health. To use it, just press the left arrow key. So, uh, your face is a mess, yo. You, you, you said what? Now, kid, use a potion. Nah, I all pass. Fine. There you go. That was a waste of a potion. Okay, desperate measures. You can bribe your foes. More ways to stop your enemies from attacking you is with money. If coins will appear, make sure you have enough money to pay coins. Press B, let's try it. If you don't want to end up broke, you better fight your battles like I told you. Bribing grants less experience after all. After you pay him enough coins, they'll leave you alone, you won't be able to fight him again. That's it for now. I'm trying to jump with the S key. Yeah. 
victory. Huh. This place is full of annoying puddles, but at least you can avoid more enemies easily down there. Don't go avoiding all enemies now, I told you you need to get stronger, so you better start fighting. This is going to be a very short adventure. I can't carry more potions! Defeated. Now I want to fight the enemies that I missed. So let's do that. After all, they said I'd miss enemies if I went underwater. So let's see who I missed. This guy. You notice how sometimes your attacks say groovy? That's what happens when you hit an enemy at the beat of the music, resulting in small attack music. It's a little hard though, so don't get discouraged if you missed a few beats. It's not mandatory. Need some help with that. I'll be singing the beats in the center of the battle menu while you fight. Whoops, I, I... There. You get the same amount of fights if you go underwater or above ground. It's more like you should go both routes rather than... No! Alright, alright, alright. No! Pesky platforming? I'm not giving up yet, you demented beast. You. Potions can restore your life as well as your stamina when you're in battle. You can sacrifice a potion if you're in desperate need of stamina. Oh, the dilemma. You know, what if I don't want to fight this guy? Oh, I can just give him money. Neat. And they're down. So 
we talk about how the big evil boss's last line of defense was a bunch of level 1 enemies? Guys, have I ever told you that I'm not good at platformers? Because I'm not. Please give me money. Okay. Isn't that that thing that lets me upgrade my thingy? You, fight me. If you're low on potions, explore your surroundings for chests. They could save you when you're in a pickle. Okay, that was just the test there. Oh shoot, I blew all my stamina. Who needs stamina, really? Can I level up? I'd love to level up. That's the Queen Moth's big tree. If you can reach the top, you can take it over. It looks like they lock the door to special lock, so probably need a special looking key. Let's find it. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to get stuck, you can read that journal where it's an items menu. No, calm down. I didn't read it that much. Hello, fellow underwater villain. Oh, hey, you look like you're a good swimmer, but you know you can fall fast faster if you press the down button? Yes, I did. Good advice, you're welcome. No, no, I wanted to go down. on the cassette tape. Play it at save stations. Or I leveled up. Yeah, I want an attack points upgrade. Also, that was totally a uh, thousand year door level up screen. I'm not sure if other games have that type of thing. But I just immediately think a thousand year door. Maybe Bug Fables would have it, because they're similar to Paper Mario, but that was kind of like an intentional choice on their end. It was like their inspiration. Swim! Swim! Jump! 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 Maybe this is a silver key, I know it is, huh? Seriously, you need a kid key, kid? Not a sunny key? The shiny and important looking kind.
this is where I need to go, right? I'm looking for that one lock. I feel like I already passed it. Yeah, I must have. Maybe it was over here? I feel like it was before this important looking lock. But I'll double check. Yeah, it was. We need to find that one lock. Wherever it was. Maybe here? Guys, where was the lock? Here it is. Well, ain't this place pretty? No time for sightseeing, though. I found a cassette tape. This is a good time to teach you about defense. This is your shield, useful for blocking and parrying attacks. It costs one stamina to use. Let's start by blocking attack. To block an attack, simply raise your shield and press the shift key. But they're just attacking me? Good. That green circle represents your shield's life, and it seems like it took some damage already. Take too many hits, no break. You fix your shield magic anvils outside of the battle. Okay, there's a better way to use your shield without breaking it. It's called parrying. It consists of raising your shield right before an enemy's attack hits you. Now your enemy is stunned and vulnerable to attacks, plus you regain stamina. Let's try it. So satisfying. Unlike blocking, parrying doesn't damage your shield, and you can even send back most projectile attacks. And you can even parry and block while tired, especially useful when you're in a pinch. Enough chit-chat. Kill this monster! One, two, not good enough. One, two, now. Nope. One, two, now. One, 
One, two, no. Oh, spikes. So we got the chest. An apartment key. Neato. Where does it lead? That's a good question. It leads to 3C. Are there gonna be like spikes at the bottom, or is this just to show me that secrets can exist? You, speak to me. Fighting underwater is great for us. We don't slow down while jumping or attacking. It's nuts. You don't look very amphibian, though, so you might want to fight on land. Oh, I... No! One, two, no! Really? One, two, pulse, no! One, two... One, two, no! One, two, no. One, two, no. Victory. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? It must be. This feels too intended. I could walk for the whole game if I wanted. Yeah, this is the alternate route. It was this one, right? No, it was the one to the left. Looks like the place is playing secrets. Better check everywhere. Come on, don't be lazy. Free stuff. Huh. That's nice, but... Oh no. I, I don't know how to trigger that. I guess I kind of did it there. Looks like I had to hit space like three times. If I do twice... But if I do it three times, 
Why do I have to do it three times? That's so awkward. I'm an honorable warrior, and not worthy opponents what I see. Do not insult me for dirty money. I'll bring you down with just one hiss and a blink. Fight me, masked warrior. <gasps> they have less... My shield got broken. I... I tried... Oh, thank goodness. The game was really merciful there. Please, make it so it's reliably on the second press. Where even am I? Key and put key turn. Have you heard about Rhythm Heads? Oh yeah, that's when the Groovy appears, right? It means you've attacked your opponent to be the music, resulting in a damage bonus. Works better if quick weapons. Pulling down the attack key helps when you want to be precise. You can also accidentally hit the B with slower weapons. It's pretty all- Who's this kid? Yeah, who invited you? Scram. Finally! Considering the store wasn't locked before, it must mean many things have changed since the last time I was here with the previous hero. Alright, kid, time to go up. Let's reach summon and defeat that thingy. Did you say summon? You know, I don't know why I'm even listening to you. I, I, I think I'm just gonna go outy. I wanna repair my shield, it's broken. Goodness, we're already at 34 minutes. I think I'm gonna, gonna go uh, repair my shield off camera, and then we come back, we'll engage the Moth Queen's castle. So, I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.